Hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Titus Kurek. Uh, this is uh, Ryan Beisner. We're from Canonical. And uh, today we are going to talk about uh, setting up an Edge Cloud in four commands. If you think you're in the wrong session because you subscribe to setting up an Edge Cloud in six commands, you're still in a good place. We just made a decision uh, as we went with this presentation that actually we're going to reduce the number of commands to four because six is too much. So uh, we're going to navigate through the following topics today. Uh, we'll talk briefly about the evolution of the edge computing paradigm. Um, we'll show you the challenges in the field uh, related to implementation of the edge. Uh, and then we'll introduce you briefly to MicroStack. This is our new product that we are launching. Uh, we'll show you the use cases for MicroStack. And hopefully, we'll be able to perform um, a demonstration uh, where we'll show the MicroStack clustering feature. Um, and uh, at the end, we'll uh, basically wrap it up and open up the Q&A section. So before we move on, um, I'll initiate the MicroStack uh, installation process on my uh, local computer. We have a test setup consisting of uh, two laptops to demonstrate the edge capabilities. So um, I'm going to start with my uh, uh, local laptop uh, microstack installation. While uh, this is getting this going, um, I thought it would be interesting to reflect on Edge for just a moment. So Edge Cloud is uh, something that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And I think it's being defined as uh, end users and vendors uh, come up with solutions to solve issues. Um, and so MicroStack is something that we think plays a role in a larger set of tools to solve edge challenges. Um, when I talk to people about edge cloud, um, some people uh, just need you know, virtual machine management um, at the pop site. Some people want Kubernetes style cluster management. Some people want both. Some people want bare metal management, right? And so again, uh, we think MicroStack is one piece of that tool chest to solve the challenges uh, that are common across edges. And so what we've got going on here is a snap install of MicroStack in um, about seven minutes, I think, it takes to initialize a control plane and a compute converged cluster. I'll give you the mic back to Titus here. Thank you, Ryan. So while uh, my microstack uh, is getting initialized, uh, let's talk uh, about theory for a while. So uh, let's talk briefly about the evolution of the cloud computing paradigm. So we started at both sides of this picture. We started at the top, where we had the cloud, a big thing, uh, usually consisting of uh, tens, hundreds, thousands of interconnected nodes, a cluster, uh, which is typically running in a big data centers with all production grade features like high availability and things like that. And we started at the bottom where we have the end users, all of those laptops, mobiles, appliances, devices, which are usually connected to the cloud. Uh, the problem with this architecture was that because of the distance between the end users and the cloud, uh, end users were usually experienced like uh, big latencies, uh, limited bandwidth, uh, and problems like that. So in order to solve these kind of problems, uh, we've started implementing the edge, which is kind of an extension of the cloud down towards the end users. Uh, but the edge implementation poses some challenges as well. So this is something that we got used to. Uh, we used to deploy a small number of big clouds. But with the edge, we're going to face the following challenge. So instead, this picture on the left, we're going to see the picture on the right. Instead of deploying a small number of big clouds, we're going to deploy a big number of small clouds. So let's say your organization is about to deploy 500 of the edge clouds during a one business year. This basically translates to two clouds per one business day. Do you have? tools that are capable of deploying two clouds per day, do you have manpower to do that? So in order to solve uh, the aforementioned challenge, uh, we designed uh, MicroStack, uh, which is a P2 
pure upstream, Snap-based uh, OpenStack installation, you can get it directly from the Snap store at uh, snapcraft.io slash microstack. Um, and this is a new product that we are launching at Canonical this week. So nice to meet you, Microstack. But I said it's a Snap-based OpenStack installation. So what does it actually mean? So a Snap is a universal Linux package that works uh, on 42 Linux distributions. Uh, it is basically an application packaged together with all of its dependencies, with all of its uh, supporting libraries. Uh, and it can be easily installed, upgraded, and removed uh, with a single command. Uh, and moreover, due to the embedded nature of the snaps, they are also extremely secure, which makes them a perfect candidate for the edge deployments. But the edge is just one of the use cases for MicroStack that we see. So where else uh, do we see an adoption potential for MicroStack? So we see it uh, in testing. You can install it on your laptop. If you have a powerful laptop uh, with just developer, typical developer resources like 16 gigabytes of RAM, multi-core processor, some free storage space, you can install MicroStack on your laptop by just executing a single command. So we can do it even right after this demo. Um, one thing you have to remember is like it's still fully functional OpenStack. So there is this minimum set of resources that you need to have. Uh, but I'm pretty sure like it works on my laptop, for example. So I'm pretty sure uh, you're going to be able to run it on your laptop as well. And we also see MicroStack in development. So if you are using CICD pipelines, uh, and those CICD pipelines require OpenStack installation uh, during the execution process, then MicroStack is a seamless solution uh, to this problem as well. So now moving to the uh, demo part, uh, the OpenStack cluster can be actually set up based on MicroStack by just executing four commands, or maybe two, because those are basically the two commands that you execute on the control node, and exactly the same two commands that you execute on the compute node. So this is what I did at the beginning of the presentation. So it's snap install uh, microstack uh, classic. Uh, this is uh, the command that installs the microstack snap. Um, I use the channel edge clustering, which provides a clustering feature. Here in Shanghai, I'm installing it on based on the uh, pre-downloaded snap because of the uh, networking issues. And then we run uh, microstack.init, which basically configures uh, my OpenStack installation. Uh, I have to answer a few questions. Uh, do I want to set up clustering? Yes. Uh, I select the role, either control or compute. Uh, I set up some password for clustering, and I provide the IP address for the uh, control node. And then on the compute node, the commands are exactly the same. Um, when answering the questions, uh, I set up cluster again. I select the compute role for the compute node. I provide exactly the same password I use for the control node, the IP address of the control node, and I assign the IP address of the compute node. So moving for the demo, let's see how our MicroStack installation is behaving at the moment on my laptop. Drum and roll, please. Thanks. So it's uh, finalizing the configuration. As you can see, it configured uh, some of the basic OpenStack services already. It configured Nova, it configured Neutron, and configured Glance, uh, adding a Cirrus image. Uh, and here we go. Uh, so I got MicroStack installed and configured on my uh, laptop. Can we uh, have a look at this real quick? Do like a uh, catalog list or a hypervisor list just to kind of see what this looks like? So this snap bundles in um, all of the OpenStack clients. Got a little spelling issue there. It does not have spell check. Um, and so you should be able to run all of the common uh, OpenStack clients without having to install anything else that comes along with it. 
we do have a limited set, I guess, of, uh, of OpenStack. This is worth mentioning. Uh, Nova Neutron Glance Sender Keystone is pretty much what we've got in here at the moment. There are plans to uh, extend that to uh, cover more services. But at the moment, um, what uh, Titus is doing, he's SSH'd into this other laptop that we've got um, set up over here. He's doing a snap install on that with the same snap. Once that is done, he'll be able to do a microstack.init, as uh, described a moment ago, and uh, answer the questions to turn that um, laptop into a compute node profile, basically enlisting it into the existing control plane with two commands and a couple of answers. And a traceback. All right. All right, so um, in that case, it's already pre-downloaded, so we don't have to do the edge, edge cluster on it. Um, but might I mention that a moment ago, before we came online here, we had a flaky Ethernet port. We did that to uh, avoid the Wi-Fi issues. Thanks, demo gods. But uh, so here we go. Um, back to the original machine. Let's see if we can make something happen here. How's the connectivity between these two laptops? This is a prerequisite to have a network. Apparently, that was the demo. So we're at the booth, and we have this working when we have our NICs working. So we'd like to show you more about that if yeah, you so uh, have questions. We, we are experiencing some networking issues here with uh, these two laptops and the Ethernet cable. Uh, but uh, we would like to uh, encourage you to come to our booth to uh, see a live demo of MicroStack. We can present it to you. Uh, so just with regards to the takeaways uh, from um, this session, uh, deploying the edge infrastructure is challenging due to the due to the huge number of independent cloud environments. Instead of seeing a small number of big environments, we're going to see a big number of small environments. And uh, MicroStack is a similar solution to this problem. Um, it is suitable not only for the edge, but also for testing and development. Uh, we can see a lot of uh, use cases for the potential adoption of MicroStack. Uh, this is snap-based, uh, pure upstream OpenStack installation, which you can test it on your laptop just after this session. So, do you have any questions, maybe? Yes? So, so what's the um, uh, biggest uh, advantage regarding the dev stack? We know we have a dev stack on the uh, community. I, I'm sorry, I'm not sure I got it properly. So, you, you, is it about the differences between uh, MicroStack and dev stack, right? So, uh, DevStack is the script-based installation, uh, which uh, is, is also kind of like, kind of like single-node uh, OpenStack installation, but it's like all based on scripts. Uh, MicroStack is a snap-based installation, so it's an application packaged together with all of its dependencies, supporting libraries. It's basically an application image that you download, mount locally, and run. That's the core difference between MicroStack and DevStack. Is it working? There we go. Uh, so uh, the, the question was about DevStack and how that fits into MicroStack. I've got a few things to add to that. So in this snap, you have um, a number of things that go along with it. You're providing um, a compiled database, Daemon, QMU, libvirt, the full, the full suite ready to go. Um, the other differentiator, I think, is that this is aimed for production use cases, whereas in, you know, in DevStack, you're deploying typically from a Git branch. Uh, and most folks are not going to be able to lifecycle manage that at the edge over time. Um, so it's not necessarily intended to be a replacement for DevStack, although if you need a control plane up like that, it's a very quick way to get that for a developer purpose. Yeah. Any other questions? What is the minimal installation? What is the minimal installation? With regards to the hardware footprint, 
Uh, so I, I believe I covered that, but uh, we re usually recommend uh, at least 16 gigabytes of RAM, multiple processor, and around 20, 50 gigabytes of a free disk space. You have to remember that it's, it's still fully functional OpenStack installation. Yeah. My laptop uh, around the corner is an i7 16 gigs with a solid state drive. No, uh, you can install it uh, in a single machine. You don't necessarily have to set up clustering, so you can install it on a single machine. Question. Fast. Well, it, it does. Yes, indeed. So if you're, yeah, if you're installing. 50 apt packages, you've got decompression that happens and all kinds of things that have to uh, be resolved and installed. And so the, the, the point is, I, th I, think, I think, quite quite nice. And that is that these are basically uh, pre-shipped in a, well, it's a, a squash, squash FS image, essentially, that just drops down on and you start, start the services. There's no installation of dependencies. It's completely confined, uh, or rather contained uh, as far as dependencies go. Yes? Good. Ironic? So at the moment, MicroStack supports the basic OpenStack services like uh, Keystone, Glance, Nova, Neutron, uh, and uh, the adoption of other services uh, is expected to grow as we progress, but at the moment, it only supports the basic OpenStack services. Any other questions? All good. Okay, then thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. And wish you a happy good day.